Hi. Great. Hi. <laughs> um, it feels weird that I'm facing this way, does it? Which way? You can, like, twist and face me a bit more if you want to. I think this is nice. We're actually really close to each other yeah, this time. Yeah, I can almost do this. Yeah, go for it if you want to. Oh my God, your legs look like bears. <laughs> Mel said my legs look like bears' legs because they're hairy. Yeah. Anyway. Um, hi, everyone. Episode 11. Is it? Uh-huh. Episode 11. Um, I was very cheery in the last episode, I feel like. Do you think? Yeah, do you remember? I was like, oh my God, I love doing the podcast. Yeah. Which is fun. That is fun. Yeah. Um, do you still feel like that? Well, I actually felt really anxious this morning and like had a cry just because I think I'm due on my period. If you know, you know how that feels. You can't explain it. It's just like everything's just terrible. And uh, Lewis convinced me to go for a run. Um, and I don't exercise at all. Like, mm. I don't. I, a walk in the morning to walk the dog is like the most I'll do. So I haven't exercised in years. And we ran around the. Lewis was like, you'll feel better, just come with me. Like, we won't run far, just let's get you out of this funk. I just needed to, like, get my heart racing. And um, I absolutely loved it. But I know that's very, like, goes on one run and says that they love it. But it made me feel so much better. Mate, it's so... Um, it's such a quick way... It's a quick, ...to yeah. just, like, change the way that your mind is feeling right in that moment, yeah. you know? Because it's like, if you just force yourself to mm. go outside, mm. like we were saying, like, w when we were running, we were like, this is different to walking. Yeah. Because it's like, going out for a walk is fine. Like, go out for a walk, mm. clear your head, like, enjoy your shit, yeah. like, enjoy your, your, your space on your own. Mm. But running, even if you're just jogging, you it's get the like happy it's different because yeah. you're actually like doing something that's like slightly hard for your body changes your mindset we only ran 2k yeah so i we ran it was so sweet lewis was like we'll run little bits and then we'll walk so i wasn't put off because i think if we'd have just ran loads i would have just hated it and i felt like i could do it and when we got back it was like the day's the same. I still feel a bit like down, but it's like everything. I had that happy mm. endorphin rush where I felt like, okay, I'm going to like carry on with the day now. That's why people exercise. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. That's why so people I'm exercise. Keep doing it. Like I've, I've said on the podcast a few times, like I quite often don't want to get up, don't want to yeah. get out of bed, don't yeah. want to get off the sofa. And like there are still plenty of times where I haven't got mm. up. Yeah. You but can't like, always pick the right choice. But when I do, it's I always feel better after. No matter like what I do, it's like mm. doing exercise is good. It's good for you. Like it just is. I was crying on the sofa and Lewis was like, Okay, you're not gonna like this. Right now, we're gonna go for a run right now. Like yeah. you need to do it now to just it's not we're not planning it to do it later on like we're gonna go mm -hmm. right now and we took the dog and it was like this is the answer for you feeling 10 percent better yeah i still like gave you space and time no, to course, be upset yeah. you yeah. know it wasn't like stop crying we're going no, for a run it was like we've never it's done this like, before usually you would have just listened to me crying and it would have been like everything's gonna be okay but mm -hmm. it's like we did another tactic and it and it worked yeah. So I'll track my progress and I'll let you guys know yeah. how many runs I do. I might do one tomorrow morning as well. Cool. If you want to come with me. Yeah, sure. I'd love to. Tomorrow's a very special day. Go on. For me. Tell the people. <laughs> it's so funny. I also know if, I didn't know if I was going to say, but I manifested. It's not even that. To me, it's quite a big deal. I a think lot of people might just be like, deal. oh, whatever. So I manifested at the start of the year. I did my like list of things I wanted to happen and one of them was to be invited to Copenhagen Fashion Week which is like the dream and this is just as good this is a step in stone in the right direction I'd say mm -hmm. um, we were on the sofa the other day watching telly in the middle of the day we're watching a film which we never really do and uh, I got invited to London Fashion Week which I never even thought. It's just, it's to a, like a jewellery presentation as part of London Fashion Week. And I got an email to my She Paints email saying, Ruby, we want to have you there. 
It's so sick. <laughs> I can't believe I'm invited. I thought this was like a manifesting thing that like when I'm a much bigger company, maybe like later this year when more things have happened, someone will be like, oh, let's put her on a PR list. Yeah. This is like very premature, but I'm very flattered and I'm the most, like I'm not saying this to be like, I got invited to fashion week. It's like, I am so grateful. Like I'm only going to one little, it's not a little thing. It's like a, it's a cool presentation. I'm just gassed that somebody found little old me and wants me to go like the fact that there's some external agency who obviously have put you on the list of people to contact for stuff like this we were excited weren't we oh mate we were really we were jumping excited. around the house i, I just got a, like got a champion I, the little wins oh exactly i still i still want to like do that like we've spoke about how when you started we were jumping about when you sold a 10 pound print and yeah. it's like you got to maintain that energy, otherwise it it yeah it will everything's fizzle got to real. be special. Yeah, exactly. Like we're very good at celebrating the little wins. Like I think we're so good at um, at like really understanding that this position that you're like growing yourself into is not to be like taken lightly mm. you know and like, it's like it's loads of work but yeah. when it goes it well it's, cool. it's so worth it and also it's so far from what we were both expecting to be mm. what you were doing two years ago three years yeah, ago. yeah I think what what happens I mean this is what happens for me and I think this is quite universal to know when you reach a goal you're just like oh okay like on to the next thing mm. and that can happen easily because yeah, one day it was like, oh my God, someone's bought a £10 print off me. And we were like, it was the best day ever. Then that starts to happen all the time. Then you get used to it and it, you don't celebrate it anymore. Mm-hmm. But like, I could have read that email and been like, oh, cool. It's not Copenhagen Fashion Week, but like, that's cool. And then moved on. But it's like, no, I'm going to really celebrate it because I'm used to the idea now. But imagine two years ago, I would have been like, exactly who is even looking at my gram to invite me yeah and i and i still feel like that and also imagine like 10 years ago Mm. imagine like 15 year old you (laughs) being like oh in 10 years i'm gonna get invited to london fashion week yeah and i think that like you know with instagram like a lot of people do i'm not saying i'm like super special but for us in our little studio here when things happen it can be very easy to just you know, tell your mates, tell your mum, and then overlook it and be like, oh, it's happening now. But like, I think we raise a glass every time a tiny thing happens. And then it, and then you feel really grateful. And then you put that out into the world. And like, I'm going to email the people and be like, I had the best time. Thank you so much. Well, for having you don't me. know if you, if you might have a terrible time. Yeah, I might have the worst time. <laughs> I might actually get to the door and they're like, sorry. It was all a prank. A prank. I thought it was a prank when I read it. Anyway. We can stop talking about it now. But I'm really excited. Good. Well done. And I'm not going to wear my yellow socks, so don't worry. I'm going to look really fashionable. I think the yellow socks are cool. (laughs) Thank you. Um, What's new with you then? Not a super amount is new, I don't think. We had Um, Valentine's Day. We had Valentine's Day. We went to the Lock Hotel. Oh, yeah, we went to London. That was really nice. I can't remember what I said last time about what was new but we like, were like oh we were talking about you and then oh, we yeah, were we like spoke knee a lot deep about in me. questions yeah. yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we yeah, were yeah. like being agony aunts all of the pod yeah which was so fun i i don't know how like how interesting the last episode was really because i only spoke about like my professional journey really i didn't like talk about myself and yeah. there's like we have lots of I think we have lots of like interesting stuff to touch on that isn't about work, work you know. But we I can just it. I like it when these things just like naturally come yeah, up, same. you know. But uh yeah, what has happened in the last week? I've got some work now. Yeah, everything's everything's going to be okay. So that's great. Uh, if you know the freelance worry of the beginning of the year, it's always terrible, but... Yeah, and didn't think anything was ever going to come in ever again. <laughs> we thought um, we were going to have to give up, but everything's okay again. Yeah. For you. So that's good. Um, 
you're trying to encourage me to be a bit more um, Grammy on the gram. Like always, I am so nervous and embarrassed to like try and be an influencer. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not saying you have to be an influencer. I'm saying you need to make your brand more like you focused. I think uh-huh. I think you need to make it more about you because that's what is so interesting. Well, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm seeing you get gifted all these sick clothes and (laughs) like, I wouldn't mind building up my gram to be a bit Mm. more clothes focused. Get us some more holidays. Yeah. Get a new wardrobe. Like I I could totally do with a Carhartt (laughs) gifted ad. Do you know (laughs) what I mean? Like I could do with that. But like what I was trying to say to Lewis is that, is that it's so, it's such a great way of connecting with brands. Uh, Honestly, someone's going to comment like they did before and be like, more business advice. And I'm not giving anyone business advice. But in my experience, Mm. making your business about you is more interesting for everyone who follows you. Mm Because it's like everybody wants to know more about the person behind it. Also, then I think if you contact brands to like make content for them, then you've gone in. And I think in this day and age, it's a great way. People might disagree with this, but I think it's a great way of like breaking down the wall so people have you on some kind of email thread or on someone's mind like so when I get when I do gifted stuff it's like yeah I get cool I get a cool jumper but it's like actually the bigger thing is that you've got a connection with someone in the company Mm -hmm. you've got an email like convo yeah it's the best way because if you knock on the door and go hi could you give me a Carhartt brat um like could you give me a what's the word like video like how would you (laughs) how would you email someone saying can i okay so say you're knocking on the door like hi can i work for you can i make you a a brand video right i see okay yeah yeah yeah, they're gonna be like no but if you knock on the door and go hi do you reckon you could give me a jacket and then it's like oh yeah of course and then it's like oh you're a filmmaker oh and then you could be like hey lewis here thank you so much for the jacket love you guys how's things going do you think like I'm making a video here. And did you like the video I made for the jacket? I'll yeah, forward it over to you. you. And then you can be like, you, you. hey, it's winter coming up. You got anyone to shoot your campaign? I'll come and help. And then it's like, you're I just a think smart it's, woman. I just think it's a pushy way of getting in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. No, you, you're so right. I I'm, know, I'm no mogul. Might be completely wrong, but I think it's a good Well, thing. I mean, it's like everything that you say is, is like in your experience. Mm-hmm. And actually it turns out that as the as the months go on you're at, you're getting more and more experience in these things that we talk about yeah. and it's like you actually do know what you're talking about because yeah. you're because you're doing it mm. like you only know as much about it as anyone else who's doing it yeah. you know Can it's I like someone might have I done know. it for longer yeah. but there's no there's like there's no reason why like what you're saying would be bullshit and what someone else yeah. is saying is true like because a lot of the companies I've worked for it's because I've asked for a gift I've asked for gifting yeah. and then I've got paid work afterwards. Uh-huh. So hopefully that's how it works. So I think Lewis needs to become more like. I find it really tough with like approaching brands in general though, because I think in my industry, this might be so boring. Like I'm being no, very yeah, specific now, but like, I think all of the like decent campaign work will always go through a, marketing agency mm-hmm. and then a marketing agency will hire yeah, maybe the production company feel. do you know what i mean yeah but like i totally i get what you're saying like it's just another we've got mates who point. who have who like have do done that. it yeah. like that so yeah. it obviously does it obviously does work i don't know maybe i need to broaden my horizons a bit and consider cousin like not just a video production company mm. but like a a like content brand s- branding yeah do you know what i mean yeah realistically i just want to be like a creative director (laughs) who knows how to use a camera and like for sure you are well yeah that's the thing like (laughs) i guess i guess i am i just um you like oh it's so funny because like you just are whatever you say you are you completely are i I was just thinking i was having this conversation it's like i hope this is interesting to people because we're being very honest about like what 
our tactics are and like what we think do you know what i mean i yeah, yeah, yeah. i like it yeah for sure yeah i'm I, I like it i'm actually really enjoying this conversation so am i i hope everyone else is yeah just checking in with the audience i wish you could reply guys <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yeah let's just manifest it manifesting's real guys yeah you're reading that book manifesting at no, the moment aren't you it. i bought it for you for christmas but lewis reading is not um, it's really not on your top priority list. So is it? we are already halfway through February, I knew and you were by gonna... now mm. I was meant to have finished the book I was reading in December. Mm-hmm. Not that I was reading in December; I read it for the entirety of 2022. Yeah. It's like a 200-page book. It's a small book. Um, and I was meant to finish that by the end of last year, mm-hmm. and then and now I should be on my second book of the year. Yeah. Uh, and I haven't finished the first book yet. Yeah. And I've read probably five pages in the last. And my mum bought months. you like six books for Christmas to like keep you going for the next few months. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, exactly. you're behind. I, I mean, I started playing chess on my phone. That's oh, taken God. up some of the Guys, reading time. The chess is so unexpected for me because I was always like, Lewis isn't a gamer. Like my life's great. Yeah, and but I know there's it's a not real good, difference it's, between. We were in London. Yeah. Having a romantic weekend away, uh, waiting for a 12 minute bus, and Lewis was playing chess. And I was standing there, like, this is not my life. Like, yeah. You were silent playing chess with someone in. Do you even know what country they're in? Who you play against? Yeah, it says it has a little oh, flag great. where they were. I, I was think just they like, were from this is Finland, isn't, actually. In I'm that not game. doing this. I remember. This is not. It's yeah. such a silent thing. It's not even like watching a YouTube <laughs> video where I can like just pop my head in and enjoy it. You're playing chess in silence. I just um, have enjoyed like what that has done to my brain a bit. Like I've had a chance to yeah. just like learn something. To be fair, it's better than scrolling. Yeah, exactly. And I think it's better than watching YouTube. No, it is. But You'd it's be just, annoyed if I was watching boring. YouTube on the street. I'd rather you just read standing at the bus stop. How well, cool. exactly. I'd look so fit You'd as well, fit. wouldn't I? You know that Instagram account, Fit Guys Reading, and it's like yeah. people on trains and buses, and it's just like, you could be them. Be yeah, playing. to be honest, that is the biggest push for me to read. <laughs> so people think you're fit, okay. Yeah, true. So I look cool. Yeah. That's like you much... You look cool anyway, I think. Thank you. That's really sweet of you, thanks. I think you look great today, said that earlier. Yeah, I think you look great as well. Thanks. You had a couple of outfit changes. Yeah, I know. It's just because it's quite cold in here, but then I didn't like my other jumper and it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, Shall we like answer a question? Yeah. Okay, I'm really excited yes. to do the questions. We um, don't have any more news, do we, for everybody? I don't think so. Oh, we're doing a vlog. Let's talk about oh, that. Yeah. We're doing, a we're doing a vlog. We're doing a vlog. We've we've almost got a week's worth of footage. We're just trying to build this, guys, any way we can. Yeah, so, honestly, like, all content is good content, It was Lewis's it? idea, and I was like, oh, what are we going to say in a vlog? Like, we just give everyone so much already. But then it's like, actually, we had quite a good week of stuff going on. Mm. And then we. Wa- I was watching this girl on YouTube do a really beautifully shot it was like a calming it was I, I'm so into her videos it's like it's her week or her day but she just films it with like nice music and it's mm. just so lovely to watch and I thought that's the kind of vlog I would want to make yeah and we can totally put something like that together I mean you're gonna do it all <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do a thing I don't know when I'm gonna do it actually there's there's quite a lot of footage on the there's on a the lot phones, building up isn't, isn't, there? isn't there but um yeah so I, I, I think that will be like a nice piece of content really mm. Where are we going to put it? YouTube? Yeah, I guess so. We, we could, could do a reel it, for it to show it on our gram. Yeah, I think you can just upload long videos on Instagram You can't. Now, can't I remember you? I was trying to do a reel. And it was like two... It was a 90 minutes is the limit. 90 seconds? 90 seconds. <laughs> Sorry, not 90 yeah. minutes. I don't think Fair. you can. Okay, cool. Hi, Freed. But yeah, we're doing a vlog, so... It's quite fun. It's quite fun. You're going to see like our week. Yeah. We do stuff separately in it too. We like pass it between us, which is quite sweet. I don't know if it's something we'll keep doing, you know? Yeah, I don't know. To be honest, it probably just depends on how much work it is to put it together and how and long it like takes. And if people like it. Yeah. Maybe this is just the pod platform, but people might want to see more. 
Yeah. Because our friends and people that I've spoke to watch our pod on YouTube. Mm. So it's just like another YouTube video you can watch of us. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's funny, isn't it? It is so funny. But I, I really like... I really rate that we are just like backing We're this just thing. We're backing it, I know. Because like, I really truly like think if we put enough effort into this apple watch sorry i think if we put enough effort into it and like it will just keep plugging it then it's not like it's not that much effort i love doing the pod and i and i enjoy doing like videoing stuff for the vlog too i just really think that all of this boils down to the fact that like i am actually so genuinely truly like happy and comfortable with you Mm. that like I feel like I want to promote that, you know, it's like, I feel like it's so easy to like make content with you, which is like enjoyable Yeah, because it's like, because it's because I'm having a nice time anyway. Yeah. All we're doing is filming it. Yeah. It's not like we had to be like, when Lewis was like, let's do a vlog. I was like, oh, we're going to have to like look nice and then like speak to the camera. And it's like, actually, no, we're just, we're always just chatting to each other all day, every day anyway. So we just we just like pressed record and then we just carried it didn't feel like we'd done anything probably yeah. might do after a while but yeah maybe i'm i'm totally cool just to keep it real loose though and if Same. it's like if it works if it, it works, works it works we don't want to do it we don't want to do it yeah we're not gonna yeah sorry no go on nothing okay should we <laughs> read a question yes let's read a question can i read one yeah, you sure. always read them and you don't like it when I read them. Yeah, I know. Why is that? Um, it's a really good question. I think it's because you read them really slowly the first time. I got an email. Um, it's because you didn't like my reading style the first time. Yeah, but we've spoken about that. So let's rude. see whether you uh, <laughs> take your advice said, or not. Serious or not. Okay, cool. Um, well, you can see. There's, wow. there's those... Have you got any coffee left? Yeah, but you drank all mine and I'm still drinking it. Can I have a sip? No. Oh, that is really... You drank half of it while we were setting up the pod. Don't. No, seriously, don't. Okay, all right, go on. Well, where's yours? I've, I've finished it. Mine's half the size of yours. Should have got a bigger one. It's just, like, ridiculous because you know for a fact that I would give you some coffee if you wanted some. Fine. Don't drink it all, though. Yeah. You're so toxic. Thank you. Oh, there's not very much in there. Just have a it. tiny sip. No, don't. Seriously, don't. I'll be so annoyed if you do. Thank you. I like to have. I like to long my coffees out. Anyway. Okay. Mm-hmm. Love the pod. Would be interested to hear you two's advice on how to get over a relationship that did and will never happen. Found out recently that someone I had a massive thing for a few years ago felt the same way at the time. Brackets. I had no idea. The chance is long gone but struggling with ruminating on the experience I might have missed out on with them and beating myself up for not picking up on signs at the time I've spent way too many nights recently just staying up reading over old messages reflecting on our interactions in hindsight with this new information any advice or thoughts would be much appreciated that's savage like really quite savage um immediately i'm gonna jump straight whoa in. you've gone in quick i haven't even processed it i just think like if you're that if you're that like heartbroken about something then fucking go chase it why is it not re- why is it not good and why is it not gonna happen now it's just more complicated than that isn't it but sit like if you're sitting up at night reading messages reading go go to fucking singapore if that's where he is do you know what i mean go like well, they've said the chance is long gone, so it's like maybe they're in a relationship now. Mm, maybe I would maybe still... Maybe it's more complicated than that. I reckon it's still worth shooting your shot. What do you think? Hindsight is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Let's just let's just give that a bit of air. Mm-hmm. I think you. I've had this in my life where I've just been like, oh, imagine if I'd done that, or what if I'd... But actually, you are meant to be where you are. What hasn't happened for you hasn't wasn't meant to have happened yet yeah you've i think it's quite a comforting thought that yeah wherever you are is where you're meant to be and you can't live like that because otherwise you'll think that about everything and then you'll stay up late thinking about 
if you'd have taken that job and you lived there, you might have met someone there. It's, it's so easy to fall into that, but I'd really try and suggest to like change the, the perspective on that because you'll never get out of this if you keep thinking like that. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that this has happened because that like is shit. Like having that feeling when you're like... If you feel like you've lost something that you never even had, yeah, that's like it's very, a weird feeling. Yeah, that's very like... It's quite a deep question actually because you've never had it. I don't, we don't know the context, but like, do, does it mean that it will never happen in the future? Mm. Could you spin this and think of it in a positive way? Like how lovely that they felt the same. So not that anything's happened, but it's really nice that you both felt like that. Like mm. it's still, if, if you, if the information that you've got from someone is, is legit, sorry, just turn my torch on. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> um, like, I think that's so sweet that, you know, that would feel quite good that somebody did feel the same as you, even yeah. if it's too late now that you found out. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but like, I also think like if you really liked someone and you just didn't say anything, and then you, you would be gutted if you realised yeah. that they did as well. No, I know. And, what I, you and mean. I think that's like a super nat, like really natural way to feel yeah, about it's it. Yeah, natural feeling. But um, yeah, if if chasing them across the world and like um, confessing your love for them mm. in front of their current partner is not on the cards right now (laughs) then i totally think yeah just yeah um like what will be will be yeah like you weren't meant to be with them yet Mm -hmm. you've got to just remember that because yeah like maybe they're with somebody now but that doesn't mean that they'll everything's so fluid and moving that you can't get stuck on the concrete facts because things shift around you know also you wouldn't want to let the way that you feel now about that relationship that never happened, that mm. never became what you now think it might have. Yeah. You wouldn't want to let that get in the way of you meeting your perfect person. See, that's the thing. You can't let something that you are kind of mourning the loss of stop you from looking forward because yeah. it never happened for a reason, uh-huh. not to be like negative, but you've got to think, why didn't that happen? It wasn't the right time. Timing is literally everything. You can have two people in front of each other who are meant to be, but if it's 10 years too early or five years too early or late, Mm -hmm. it's not the right time. And also I think it's important to realize that you never had it. Do you know what I mean? Like that was never something that you now don't have. Well, so like, try not to get too caught up in the loss feeling because it's not because yeah realistically you know you didn't have it so it's not like you I i think you could get you could put yourself in a position where you get really deeply yeah upset about something that didn't happen and actually like if you just yeah be real about it yeah and be like you know, we were never meant to be together up until this point. Uh-huh. You've obviously found out this information for a reason because I think everything kind of happens as it's meant to. So, like, you were, you were meant to find out that they felt the same, mm. which is cool. I think now you just got to focus on where you are. You know, as you mm-hmm. said, the chance is long gone. Maybe that means they live far away. Maybe that means they're married or, or they're with someone else. Or I've got another thing to think. Go on. It's also very easy to romanticize yes. your thoughts of them now yes. because you don't have any concrete evidence to completely. Agree. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like she's lay. I said she. We don't know who it is. No, They're laying no. in bed, th- thinking, probably imagining the past few holidays you could have had and Christmases, yeah. and yeah. and actually, how do you know? Realistically, you don't you know. Have no facts. And it's really important to bear in mind that that person might not be your person. Yeah. And if you focus on that too much, mm. you might miss your person awesome. when totally. they when they could when they walking through your life, yeah. you know. So it's like Yeah, keep, we don't know the f- we, yeah, we have no actual evidence. You both liked each other at the time. Let's take the positive out of that. That's cool. That's so nice that someone liked you back. Like mm. you obviously knew that they'll connect that connection was real. Mm-hmm. But nothing progressed for a reason. And maybe, you know, if you were to rekindle now, 
it wouldn't be as you thought it would be. Yeah. Everything's so Almost much more rose tinted in won't your head. Be what yeah. You think. Yeah. I used to like break up with people. I was we were talking about this the other day. And then a year would go by and I'd have nothing going on and I would just have this weird feeling like, Oh my god, I miss them. And it's like you don't. You don't. Yeah. And then I would no. have these rose tinted thoughts because my life was a bit boring and I'd be like oh my God, imagine we could like be walking down the street right now holding hands. And then you get into this like, and it would be like two or three days where I would just mm. have this weird feeling. And it to me, it was just like boredom. And I was just like, oh my God, I meant to be with them. And I would imagine yeah. them in such a It could be anything that way. brings that on as well. Like, I yeah. feel like just being in any way leaning to feeling more negative Vulnerable, than positive, yeah. you just immediately go yeah. to... I I remember being comfortable with that yeah. with that person. And then you're like, like, they were great. And it's yeah. like, were, it's like, like were you've got to remember the up. whole situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an interesting dilemma. Thank you for writing in. Mm. I hope we've helped. But I think, yeah, the main takeaway is kind of what you said. Like, we don't, you don't know how it would have been. I think that's the safest thing to take away from yeah. all of our thoughts is like, you don't know. And also like, what will be will be yeah. and it wasn't the right time and and kind of what you said at the beginning like if if it isn't out of reach i always think honesty is the best thing because yeah. you know where you stand and uh-huh. if you say how you feel i think it cuts a lot of time away and it saves yeah. you a lot of time and yeah, yeah. we need to keep life moving uh-huh. so if you can tell them and say see what they think by all means i think that's great but as you said, it's out of reach. Maybe that's not on yeah. the cards and maybe that's where you're meant to be. Interesting. Very interesting. That's probably all of my thoughts on that. Yeah, same. Shall we move on? Yeah, go on. Shall I read the next one? Sure. How did you find my reading? Great. I did it quite Loved quick. it. Yeah, well done. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. What's that for? Uh, it was just a deep breath and a little inside burp that I didn't want to do into the mic. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm told everyone now. <laughs> Thanks. Lewis, you have lots of tattoos. Ruby, you have none. Ray, how do they know that? <laughs> what are your motivation behind both your choices? Right, well, who's seen your full body then? <laughs> what X is that that wrote in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. None of my X has probably watched this. Oh, my nose is itchy. Okay. You want to start with that or shall I? Sure. Yeah, I mean, shall I just briefly Tell speak us about tattoo my tattoo history. journey? Yeah, My tattoo journey started when I was 18. Wow. And I... That's a million years ago. It's That's 12 years ago. <laughs> um, and it was very much the norm to walk into the tattoo shop on a Saturday with 60 quid in my pocket and, and pick something off the wall. Pick one. Yep. Um, so, like, the majority of my tattoos don't mean anything... Um, I. It's a shame you're like covered up right now. Most of them, yeah. Well, if you keep, if you stick around until summer, we were saying baby. this. Yeah. It's gonna be so nice when we can wear shorts and t-shirts. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to film some in our garden. Yeah. Sorry, carry on. Um, yeah, I've got, I've still got lots of space to fill, mm. um, but I like being tattooed. I like the vibe. Mm. I I like most of my tattoos and I will realistically money is the only thing that's like in the way of me not yeah, the getting the fact that you had cash covered. to just get like the amount of tattoos Lewis has it's like it's an expensive hobby isn't it at that point. Yeah, mo- the money when you're 18 the yeah. money is so like you can just nothing. No. I was paying 200 pounds a month to to live in my mate's mum's mm like tiny bedroom where all the boys yeah. lived what? and it's like oh and i had a job yeah so it's like 60 quid a week to go and get a tattoo slapped on is nothing but you have a real mix of like tattoo shop tattoos that are like big and bold mm. i don't really know the tattoo terms sure. <laughs> big and bold and then you have like in between them you do your own ones <laughs> oh, which yeah. we should discuss That's actually it's really a very good. different vibe uh yeah, so my legs are covered in tattoos that I've tattooed on myself. Um, <laughs> and Quite a lot of them are quite are quite slapdash cash, aren't oh, they? Oh, mate, they are trash. <laughs> and um, most of them have been done, like, 
at three o'clock in the morning at a house party, uh, like after when when the party's dying down, and then it's, it's like the tattoo the worst gun comes time out to have a ta- to get a tattoo. Yeah, but it's the best time because like I've tried to do a few sober in the last couple it's of weeks, painful. and it <laughs> fucking hurts so much. What's What's funny is that you don't care about like you're not precious about your tattoos, and you're kind of just like, oh, this one says this, and like there's yeah. your dog's name and like it's all very yeah. in fact i would say that the ones that i've tattooed on myself are probably more meaningful yeah. than the ones that i've just like walked into shops mm. it's like they the sort of the shop ones like look good but they don't mean anything yeah. and the ones that i've and done on myself ones, look yeah. really scribbly and, and horrible but like still i think they look cool i think they look cool too but it's like a completely different vibe and some of them mean something. Some of them, I've like seen something cool and just traced They're it. They're very and, emo, we have to say And that. chucked it on. Yeah, they are very emo. The emo but lyrics like, are... I lyrics. have, like... It came up in therapy. When I was having therapy yeah, last year, it was, was like... Say. Tattooing myself was something that, like, he was keen on talking about. Because it's like... Did he see your tattoo? Was it summertime? It, yeah, he must have, yeah. Yeah. Because there is something really, like, quite self-destructive about, mm. like, being cool with scribbling ugly stuff on your legs permanently. Yeah. You know? Because it's very different to, like, planning a tattoo and it being... And then going to the shop. But, like, when, you, when you're when you like, oh, I've got the tattoo gun here, it's locked down. And you're just, like, scribbling shit all over your yeah. legs. Like, that feels very different. Yeah. Like, you don't really care. Yeah, completely. Not that you don't care, but it's it's you know what so I mean? hard. Like it's it's really hard to to sum up, really, because I on on the face of it, I don't think there's anything like really deep, dark, uh, deep and dark no. about me tattooing myself. No. Right? I kind of think like I bought a tattoo gun like ten years ago, mm. and it was fun like to learn how to tattoo yeah. and like I practiced on myself mm. and then it's just sort of been knocking around for the last 10 years so like <laughs> it's funny I've got I've I've gotten to the point with this with this shit machine off eBay where I can like make a tattoo stay in my leg at yeah. least so I sort of just do it because like it's kind of just like free tattoos it's fun you know? yeah and like when you had your friends around in the summer in the back room of yeah. our flat and it's like they're drinking beers, doing tattoos. Like, it's yeah. quite, like, a fun hobby. It's sort of, do. like, freeing and, like, feels a bit edgy. It's quite creative. And, like, yeah, quite creative. But saying that, I don't think you can really, like, talk about it without acknowledging the fact that, like, it's it's very, like... um self-destructive yeah like the way that you do it sometimes could be like deep deep down it could be something that you're like trying to take control of and like i'm gonna do what i want yeah i have absolutely no idea really i haven't like delved into that a lot it's just so weird because your personality obviously like people might not know you that well on the pod but like it doesn't match up with having tattoos all over your body. Yeah, someone you said know that what the I mean? other day, like, didn't they? You're very, not that this is like a cliche that you have to be like t- like scary and like whatever. It's, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're like a really gentle, like mm. sensitive, like vegan, like, I don't know. It just doesn't match that you want to have like, emo lyrics on your leg that you've just screwed on like a spider web do you know what I mean? yeah like when i met you i was like very confused they didn't match up and now it kind of i'm like used to it but mm. when people in the summer when you wear your shorts and everyone's like oh my god you've got loads of tattoos it's like yeah it just it, it surprises me and you surprise me but i think that's cool i think that's probably the case with lots of people with tattoos yeah. though because like, like most people mm. who like who have well i don't know really i, don't really I can't really speak for tattoos. most people but like lots of like tattoo artists and tattooists yeah. that i've met like are not scary scary biker they're, guys they're like sad yeah uh like emo creative people <laughs> yeah who, like don't really want to talk mm. and like have just found this like niche craft yeah. which also has a bit of like pain and like grunge attached to yeah, it it's you know really I mean? weird isn't it yeah um it's interesting though and i have absolutely none yeah which isn't very interesting to talk about i just i never like went down that road a lot of my friends have tattoos i just like i'm very indecisive on my style and like every year everything 
my like vibe changes. So mm. I would feel quite weird about putting that mm-hmm. on my skin. Cause I would so far, if I had started tattooing, I would have like a huge variety of like styles on me, you know? So personally, I love the fact that you don't have any tattoos. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Um, not that I'm like against other people having tattoos. Um, but I like love, re- like really rate the fact that your body is completely clean, <laughs> mm. clear. But um, It's quite a nice contrast of the two of us. When yeah, we're like on yeah, the beach, yeah, it's sure. like... You're tattooed all over and I'm like completely empty. Yeah. Um, but say, so So I have like a real deep, true fear that you'll want to get tattooed. Yeah, right? I think so. But I... Why is that a fear? Well, because like I like your body so much how it is. Right. But, but I am so aware that that's a really like selfish on me mm. feeling. Yeah. And I would never, ever like tell me try and make you not do that like yeah. if you wanted to uh, I, obviously it's got nothing to do with me like yeah. cause your body no, you, of course. you do what you want but I, I would like you, the record to in... state that I like yeah. really like you without any tattoos on yeah it's interesting that someone asked this because I wouldn't think people would be that interested in it but yeah now we're talking about it it's got quite a lot of layers to it there's, there's layers to everything you know it's like an onion <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah yeah. You have me, you have my initial tattooed on you too. We should probably tell I do, you. On, my on hand. your hand, which is yeah. really sweet. No one's ever done that for me before. Thank God. It's because we're in love. Sure. We Keep woke up in the middle of that. the night. <laughs> Lewis is like, help me. We woke up in the middle of the night last night and we did something we used to do when we when we first met. We used to wake up at like two or three and just chat, like mm. wide awake, laying there in the pitch black, chatting for an hour. Do you know why hours. we woke up in the middle of the night? Because. Of well, no, because I think because the last two nights we've gone yeah. to bed at like half past seven. Yeah, we've gone to bed so early. We're Tried to watch Ratatouille, Ratatouille and then just night. gone to sleep. Also, it's too early to go to sleep because you wake up at 12 and you're like awake. Yeah. And it's like we haven't even started the night's sleep yet. Yeah, exactly. But um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Um, yeah, we were, we were just we were, talking. We were planning our night. wedding. Yeah. <laughs> we're not even engaged but we just find it fun to talk about what our wedding would be like yeah so that was quite funny uh-huh. multiple people have asked me if i'm going to propose to you in new, in york. new york i don't think we've said this on the podcast have we well, we're going about... to new york and lewis was like am i not like are we going all the way to new york and like <laughs> yeah, am, like, I, not really, gonna am I not going to propose to you and like, it's like it's like what a waste of new york but but also <laughs> but then it's like it's not us that's so not us it's yeah no, no. no disrespect to people that get engaged in new york but no yeah yeah but us standing it's like we've never been to new york i think it's funny that we're even going to new york <laughs> really know. it's not i think like, it's cool yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm really so excited to it. but it's like yeah my friends are like do you think Lewis gonna ask you to get engaged like to get married and it's like it's not us to stand yeah, by the empire state building <laughs> well yeah it wouldn't have to be there would it but i mean if i did you would totally take it god i would love it but i'm not going to okay Anyway, yeah, yeah, we're not like obsessed with getting married. It's just so fun to talk about that, don't you think? Yeah. We also said when we got engaged, we would just be engaged for ages because <laughs> I think that's quite fit to like be engaged to each other. <laughs> I would want to ride that out. Yeah. Like, I, I definitely don't think I'd be the kind of person that got engaged and then was like, we need to plan the wedding. Uh-huh. I think I'd be like, let's cruise being engaged for a while. But then it's kind of just like, what's the point? Might as well just be going out. Well, because we get to have a ring, it's quite exciting. I, I, we still I mean, are on the journey, but we're not like, like, what's the rush? Yeah, I feel you. Like, what is the rush? The, the more time you wait to have a wedding, the richer hopefully you'll be. That's true. Like, I'd be happy to wait a few years yeah. and be like, guys, wait for the wedding. Save the date, 2029. 20, well, your parents pay for the wedding anyway, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't no. think so. Okay. Cool. Is that what happens? Uh, I don't know. Um, Should we wrap it up? Yeah, let's. Should we wrap it up like a Christmas present? Yeah. We did so well, and I just need to cut out one yeah, tiny thing where I said my friend's um, full name. surname. <laughs> yeah, and I just feel like, I don't know, I just don't... don't Privacy, I don't think you don't should don't want do to that. put it out there. No. So that is, that's it. That I'm is really a wrap. Gassed. Um, Thank you for your question. Sorry we only answered two, but we've run out of time. Yeah. Um get more in. I'll 
I, I, I just, I've been so shit with the cut downs of the last the, one. The cut so, downs, we need to get them um, out again. Don't yeah, so we haven't really been posting about like actually getting more questions in. But, so um, we'll, we'll, we'll do that so then you remind everyone. Yeah. Because we, we are running dry now, I think. Lo- There's a couple more. We'll use come, them all up. A couple more have come in today, but I wanted to just get through yeah. the ones that we had saved first. We love the questions. Absolutely love them. We could also start doing like a quick fire round as well. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we should like put a topic out there and get people's like like a poll. Yeah. And then we can talk about that first before we do the questions. Yeah, or like we put a question box out that's like specifically like yeah, ask about us that. stuff about this and then it's and just then it's, like we yeah, just quick fire it. We need it. to brainstorm this. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't need to be done now. No. All, All right. right. I love you. Cool. Love you. Bye. Well done. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.